Once you've imported your video, go ahead and head to the colored page. We're going to go ahead and get started. This is S-Log3 coming from the A7S3. So let's do a basic conversion to Rec. 709 just so we can see what we're going to be doing here. We're going to go ahead and go to the qualifier. Now what the qualifier does is you're going to make a selection on the screen and it's going to map, it's going to basically apply a mask. So to get started, we're going to go ahead and just drag along the subject skin. For example, you can do the shirt, you do the grass, you could do whatever you'd like. Now to see what we went ahead and selected, we're going to go ahead and touch this magic wand up here, top left. And you can see just from selecting his skin, it's selected other things that kind of represent that. But we don't want that. So we're going to go ahead and touch our hue, saturation, and luminance sliders in the middle of the screen. We're going to go ahead and change those until just his skin is on the screen. So this is pretty much everything that I was able to select. Again, if something comes up later, like artifacting or some color splotches that we don't like, we can always tweak the hue, saturation, and luminance sliders to get rid of that. So once we have our selection, we're going to go ahead and apply blur radius and denoise. Blur radius is exactly what it says. So let's go ahead and zoom in on our subject. You can see these rough areas. If we touch up blur radius right here, it's just going to feather out those selections now if you do it too much you're and you go back to it your subject's going to have a, a halo around them once you've done your grade and everything so you don't want to push this too much so let's go ahead and just bump it up i'm at 14.5 that looks pretty good for now and then we're also going to hit the denoise again if you do too much of this you're going to have a very soft image and it could work in some in instances but in this instance we're not going to do too much so that was just a basic introduction into HSL and what it can do. So let's go ahead and try another thing. So we're going to go ahead and do in Shift S to add a node before our conversion. And in this case, we're going to do something a little more advanced. What we did previously was we had one node with our adjustments and our color already, which you shouldn't do, but it was just an example. So what we're going to do is let's do our basic adjustments first in our node number one. Alright, that looks pretty good just for now. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and Alt S to make a new node and set our background color in node number two. So let's go just for a very basic bluish teal, very generic. So that looks good. What we're going to do next is we're going to right click. We're going to hit add node and add layer. Now we're going to do the exact same process in node number three as we did previously with our qualifier. So once you do that, let's say you didn't like that background color that you originally chose. Let's go ahead and hit node number two. I'm actually going to desaturate it. I think it's a little too much. So great, we desaturated it. So now let's go back to the skin tones. With this grade, I'm not really liking it. So what we can do is let's go ahead and touch the, the drop down right here. Let's go ahead and hit our vector scope. And let's go ahead and go to the settings and we're going to enable display qualifier focus. And what that is going to do is when you hover over your image, it's going to put a little circle on your scopes and just highlighting where that color is on there. So what we can do is he's looking a little too red. So on this skin tones node number three, we can just go ahead and subtract some red out of there maybe maybe mess with the the color wheels a little bit again this is just to showcase the HSL secondary so don't so don't look too far into this image if you can make the skin tones look normal then you can really sell any image, any color grade. 
I hope you found this useful. Leave a comment on what you want to see next.